Hey everyone, for more updates about the Shiba Inu team, we have more updates on the market that I'm going to be talking about today. Welcome back to another Shiba Inu video. Today we're going to be talking about SHIB and most specifically its price. So be sure to drop a like. Also, people keep getting angry about gas fees. Hi, look, listen, you can literally cannot blame us for gas, said Shiba Token Cat. Why? It's just part of the Ethereum network. It has and likely always will be. We're not responsible for the fact that you might pay $20 to do something on swap. Gas sucks. So yeah, gas fees are high right now. A lot of people are complaining, but hopefully they improve in the future. So thank you so much for dropping a like. I just wanted to let you know that, you know, and I keep getting question. Why did my transaction fail? Most common answer out of gas. Raise your gas limit. Share the answer to others. And we can see here gas limit 21,000 and uh yeah i mean that's what happens the transaction fails you end up losing either ten dollars either twenty dollars so i don't want to see you losing anything but if we check over here get your we bull free stocks two free stocks today the most important thing here is you pay zero commission fees you can buy or sell cryptos and just putting in five dollars you can get up to two thousand three hundred dollars so stop the video put in five dollars and maybe you'll get $2,300. Wouldn't that be exciting to get $2,300 that you can spend on anything in stocks? And uh, that is super exciting to see because uh, they're doing this for a limited time only, I'm guessing. So the most important thing is just depositing $5 is getting you another free stock. Link in the description below. Be sure to check that out. But I got a feeling that Ethereum rewards for burning ship hasn't been realized yet. These percentages are high and people's expectation of why rewards are low doesn't make sense to me. I think there's something being missed. An A per year percentage doesn't care about being percentage of 0.1%. Uh, APR is APR and it signifies what the return you'll get. Also, 220,000 APR is rooted among 50,000 holders is still 20,000 APR for each holder. So if I invest 100 euros and I get a return. So people are discussing a lot about ATR and people got a lot about, uh, people are talking a lot about rewards now because the rewards are big. The rewards are small to some, but big to others. So some are getting 95,000 out of their $350,000 investment. But the thing is, the most important thing about Shiba Swap is two things. You get a passive income. Finally, a passive income. Where can you get that? In Ponzi schemes, or either you make your own business, or there's you know completely different things. Of you obviously know Ponzi schemes don't work. Sometimes the businesses fail and they're not always passive income. But here we can see that, you know, they obviously are. So Bitcoin price dives below 31K after lowest weekly close in eight months. It's not looking good for Bitcoin. You know, uh, Bitcoin is under a lot of pressure. That's good. I think a uh, pressure on Bitcoin and ship, I hope ship falls by 30%. So listen to me out on this before lighting the torch. If Bitcoin drops by 30%, if it drops by 20% and you don't sell, some will is will end up buying this, you know, and he will end up buying even a bit more. So when that happens, when Bitcoin goes to ten thousand dollars, that will be cheap enough for institutions to come in, and it will grow naturally. You no, know? no fake pumps, nothing like that. Just natural growth. So traders have broadly predicted a move downward after Bitcoin had failed to hold on support levels higher up with the integrity of 30,000 itself being called into question. Vitality finally for Bitcoin in-house trader and Alice Michael Van de Pop is summarized. So I'm not saying that this is the bottom. I'm just saying that PA always looks horrible at the bottom and a chart is only too obvious when it's too late to catch it. So we saw the similar thing happening at $3,000 and at $30,000. You know, the price is slowly but surely dropping. Similar sentiment, most calling for 28k and lower. And the institutions are waiting for Bitcoin to drop below 28k. Similar structure, fake out and slow beat, and we will be looking at that. But when the Pope has suggested that the ultimate Bitcoin price floor may not come as a result of a sudden dive or have clearly defined characteristics. A daily close below 31,000, nonetheless, has not happened since January. Altcoins suffer at the hands of Bitcoin bears. Bitcoin's dive, meanwhile, sparked instant pain for altcoins, which often doubled the largest cryptocurrency's hourly loss. Ethereum shed nearly 8% on the day to hit 1,800 support. Highlighting a fragile altcoin environment still at the mercy of Bitcoin sentiment. We're all dependent on Bitcoin's prices. That's what I'm talking about Bitcoin's use. If Bitcoin goes up, Shiba Inu will see massive increases. Imagine if Bitcoin goes to 100,000 tomorrow. How much will be Bitcoin worth? A lot more. A positive 
plausible overall explanation lay at the door of the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, which on Sunday completed a 16,000 Bitcoin unlocking event, which only a day later could have an opportunity to impact the market. Today, Grayscale CEO Michael Sonnen told CNBC in an interview that the regulatory discussion of Bitcoin exchange traded funds isn't entering its final uh, stages. So nobody's talking about this, but uh, the CEO Michael Sonnen side told CNBC in an interview that the regulatory discussion on Bitcoin exchange traded funds is in the final stages and that's when we're going to be seeing that bull run and the company is committed to turning gbdc into such a product so we see over here you know we're finally going to be working with institutions with big exchanges in the future we can see uh michael savior your bitcoin bag is safe basically over here we can see the same things happening so we check here once again grayscale ceo to cnbc regulatory discussion on bitcoin and that's that's good news. Look at this. You know, a couple of different points of maturation in the underlying market. Um, and that's really kind of the final. It, it represents what China's kind of done and, and that maybe there's increasing regulatory fears that are putting a cap on it. Well, I think what we've certainly seen over the years is this ecosystem to, you know, continue to get challenged. The recent ban on mining in China, we view as a positive thing. We've seen the mining distribution uh, fan out to other parts of the world, including here in the U.S. And investors in this asset class are really not focused on the short term um, or any short term movements in price. These are really investors looking at their allocations over the medium to longer term. And so any volatility or even dampening of volatility. So medium to longer term, I would say is like six months, maybe 12 months, maybe to some longer term is five years. Volatility is not something that anyone is phased by. It might be focused if it broke under 30 and, and, and had one of those uh, uh, pullbacks or corrections that we've seen in other years might get a little bit more focused but there are people that just stack that's for sure that no matter so some people are still buying into the dip no matter what or what happens indeed, gonna keep, indeed. Keep, keep stacking what about uh, an etf that uh, there's an article today about uh, some of gensler's comments and that we're as far away from from an etf as we were five years ago even though it's always supposed to be imminent because of the fears that you're not that, that regulators have that they're not protecting investors adequately yet in digital uh, assets well a bitcoin etf here in the us joe is really a matter of when not a matter of if so bitcoin etfs are happening big institutions coming in basically confirmed so hopefully grayscale 100 committed to turning gbdc into bitcoin etf bitcoin is just a couple of points of maturation away from getting approved etf in the us said grayscale ceo uh this is big news nobody's talking about this not sure why but if it's not when for us bitcoin etf not all is quiet on western front so things are finally starting to ramp up we're in the middle of the bear market hopefully the cavalry will soon arrive for shiba inu coins and give us the help we need <laughs> and institutional advances continue to surface this month despite low volumes and overall lack direction of market as coin telegraph reported bank of america reportedly gave the green light for bitcoin future tradings last week so that was something that improved the prices a survey meanwhile showed that existing institutional bitcoin investors are far from done with an asset with 40 percent saying they plan to buy more in the future so it's still not over for crypto but crypto needs more than just vc interest we can see correcting misconception of institutional interest in crypto and why Circle going public may bring regulatory clarity in the US stable coins. And we check over here. Institutions supposedly don't care about crypto. Um, it made headlines this week and asserted there was very little demand for crypto assets. In the past, you've asked me about crypto and Bitcoin. Again, in my last two weeks of business travel, not one question has been asked about that. So institutions don't care about crypto that much and unless it's really high, unless they could really profit out of it. And we right now what we need is support from institutions but the institutions don't care you know the most important factor here though a lot of things have been happening blockfi raises 350 million blockchain raises 300 million this is when the price has increased you know but then the prices have slowly dropped so we're still getting those crypto funds over here uh vcs are still getting supported so big money is coming in and uh the most important thing is institutions just aren't there yet at this price why should they invest 
at 30,000 per Bitcoin or 20,000 or 25,000 per Bitcoin when they can get it for super cheap for like 15,000. But El Salvador may issue its own stable coin, something I was talking about before. But the president's brother reportedly met with a representative from Cardano, Wizgrid, and Algorand at different times, according to newspaper. So imagine if we they, they partner up with either Wizgrid, Cardano, or Algorand. That would be crazy if they made their own stablecoin. A spokesperson for El Salvador government told El Faro that the plan was discarded, but the newspaper, citing an unidentified source, said the plans are currently on track. So this is a secret project under works that they're getting their own El Salvador stablecoin, which will treat the original cryptocurrency as a legal tender and require all businesses to accept it as a payment for goods and services by September. So this is going to happen for Bitcoin. I obviously want to see what happens to the first Bitcoin country because this will go down in the Bitcoin history. Uh, this could be either really good or bad, but uh, we're going to be talking about some bad things. Obviously, I don't like sharing the, the bad news for Shiba Inu, but uh, we got to talk about it. You know, even if it's bad, if it's good news, we are going to be talking. So despite the pickup in demand for 22K puts, the option market remains biased bullish for the long term. Long term, it's looking really good. But short term, it's looking really bad. So let me say this again. Long term, uh, Shiba Inu and Bitcoin will increase. I'm sure of it. But short term, you're going to be seeing some lower drops at 20,000, maybe 25,000. You know, I definitely do think it could drop by 25,000 like that. You know, super simple just by the end of the day. But Bitcoin is currently changing hands near the lower end of the month trading range of 30 to 40,000. If the support at 30,000 gives away, traders who sold at 30,000 over the past few weeks may resort to hedging, taking a short position in the futures or spot market leading to a deeper decline so they're putting in their money to see bitcoin go down you know that's how they make money by saying that bitcoin will go down and it definitely could happen now last time i reported about the seized ps4 controllers in ukraine actually they were used for fifa accounts and not for crypto mining that's all the news we have to, for today be sure to subscribe for more shiba inu content i know i didn't have as much shiba inu content but i did have some bitcoin news which will affect shiba inu's prices until next time thank you so much for watching peace everyone